congruent triangles SSS, SAS, and ASA. So S st stands for side and A stands for angle. And we are going to figure out which of these rules work in checking whether these triangles are congruent. So there's a side here that matches this side. There's another side here that matches this side. And there's a third side here that matches this third side. So those two triangles are congruent by side, 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 right here. Okay, which rule explains why these triangles are congruent? Okay, so we've got a side here, which matches this side. We've got another side here, which matches this side. And we've got a third side here, which matches this third side. And congruent basically means the same exact size and shape. If you put this triangle right over this other one, there'd be, they would perfectly overlap. So this is side, side, side again. Okay, which rule explains these? All right, so we've got side, we've got another side, and we've got one angle here, one angle that matches another angle, but we're missing a third side, right? So we can't use side angle side, unfortunately. So there's no way to verify this without any other information. Okay, how about this? So we've got a side that matches this side. We've got another side here that matches another side there. And let's go with a heart. You've got a third side that matches this third side. So that's side, 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 because there are three sides. Okay, how about these? Uh, we've got this first side matching this side. We've got this second side matching this second side. And we've got a third side. Let's do a square with a smiley, change it up. We've got this third side matching this third side, right? So by matching, I mean that the numbers are the same. The lengths are the same, right? So side, side, side tells us that those two triangles are exactly the same. Okay, how about this? Ooh, this is a different one. We've got a side here and a side here. We've got an angle here and an angle here, and we've got a side here matching this side. So that is side angle side. Cool. Okay, how about this? Ooh, this is interesting. We've got an angle. The two lines there means it matches these two lines. So those two angles are exactly the same number of degrees or radians. This side matches this side, and this third angle matches this third angle. So we have angle, side, angle, right? Angle, side, angle. Okay, how about this? We've got a side there, a side there. There's both one curved line there and one curved line there. That means those angles are congruent or they're the same size. And this third side here is the same as this. So we have side, angle, side, or S-A-S, -S, side, angle, side. Okay, how about this? We have angle, side, angle, right? So that is angle, side, angle. We, we have to check that these numbers match, right? There's a two there and there's a two there. And, you know, so we're not just, yeah, just be careful with that. So angle, side, angle. All right, and for the last one, I think you guys are getting the gist of this. Ooh, I bet you guys know what this one is. This matches this. So we've got one matching one. We've got two here matching this length, this side length. And we've got three 
matching this three. So that's side, 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 which tells us since all those things match on the court in both triangles, the two triangles are congruent. They're the exact same. So side, side, side. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, have a great one, and I'll see you next time.